What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Daniel Williams. I would invite y'all to hit that subscribe button down there in the corner, and we're going to get started. Okay, so I get a lot of questions, people asking me what the best form is for taxidermy. And any kind of mannequin will work, okay? They're not really a whole lot of difference in any of them except the sculptor and how the deer actually looks. So it's all foam made on the wood, so you can use anything as long as it's the right size. You've got to make sure the measurements are correct. Now, if you need to know how to measure a deer, I'm going to put a link down in the description of another video I've got of how I measure the deer heads, and uh, that will give y'all a look at how you will do that. So we're just going to go through a few of my customer favorites. I figured that would probably be the best way, uh, rather than just my opinion. I'll give y'all my opinion on it, but what I do that's the most popular that people tend to like to give y'all an idea of kind of where to get started. This is my number one personal suggestion. If you can find a Ben Mears whitetail form that will fit the deer that you're trying to mount, go with it first. They don't have as many options to choose from yet as say a McKenzie form just as far as the sizes and they don't have quite as many poses. But do not get the mirrors forms that are in the McKenzie supply catalog confused with Ben Mears whitetail forms that you order from him specifically in Mississippi. It's a complete different line of forms. He's re-sculpted everything and they don't even look the same as they used to. And I'm telling you, they are top notch, unbelievable, by far the most requested form brand that I have got in my shop. The hard part is just trying to find that pose that matches that size, uh, just because there's a little bit of limitation with that. Not as bad as it used to be. He's come a long way with, with the amount of sculptures he's got now. But this right here is the poster from his stuff. If you ever tried to put a whitetail cape on a different form and then tried to put the same cape onto a Ben Mears form, it would just blow your mind. Like the way that it fits, everything about it is just incredible. It's very, very good symmetry. I wish I had one in the shop here that was on a mirror's form that I could show you, but I don't. They've already been picked up, but I will put a picture on here. This is one that I put on a mirror's form last year, and I don't know that y'all can tell by looking at the pictures, but the detail in the face is slightly different. It's got a more Roman nose. The face is a little bit narrower. Uh, the nose rolls up on top of the snout just a little bit further and the eyes sit slightly closer together. The, the face is as big around circumference wise, but it's more narrow and tall rather than short and wide. It doesn't have quite the snout like a, that looks like a dog snout, kind of the way I put it. It looks more like a deer head and it just fits so well. Uh, I've got a few in here that are mounted up. People haven't picked up yet, so I can give y'all some pretty good examples in here of some that are very popular. And uh, aside from that, we'll go over to my posters and I'll show you some other heads. This right here is a 4,900. It's a 4,900 wall pedestal. It's one of the newest forms that McKenzie has come out with. And uh, it's a very, very realistic, great looking pose. I love the way that that's shaped. Very symmetrical, goes on a form really well. But that is a 4,900 wall pedestal. It's probably now the most popular full sneak that I do. Now, another option for a full sneak is this 4600. It's kind of similar. It's an older form. It's just a straight shoulder. It doesn't have the offset shoulder, and it's not a wall pedestal. Uh, this one right here comes a little bit more straight out. It doesn't quite have the curve to the neck, and it has a head up pose, whereas this one is almost a perfectly level head. That one has got a slight nose up, and that one right there is also very, very popular. Uh, those two right there, as far as a full sneak, I, I don't know that I've ever had anybody choose anything other than one of these two forms. Now, as far as a regular classic upright shoulder mount, this right here is a 9600, and I absolutely love this form right here. Uh, it's more of a classic look. A lot of people like that more traditional, just upright, straight shoulder, and the 9600 to me is probably the best form to display that old classic look with it's still got good musculature y'all can see this buck right here is probably a two-year-old uh and it still has got very good muscle detail very good face symmetry uh i'm very happy with these these forms right here 
This guy right here is a 9,800 wall pedestal. That is the most popular upright wall pedestal that I do. I do a lot of these right here and you can see why. It's got excellent muscle detail. It's got the rolls in the neck, all the wrinkles and it just sits really good on the wall. It's a great display and mount. Go in here, one that I've got drying. This is a brand new form too. That is a 9,900 wall pedestal. They come out with a new 9,900, which sits flush. That's it right there. It's got a more of an upright neck. And that form is based on the 6900 McKenzie, which is one of their most, most popular forms. We'll show you that in just a minute. The only difference between this is, rather than this sitting flat against the wall, more like that shoulder with the head coming up towards you, this one is a wall pedestal, so it's actually cut away and sits on the wall that will display exactly like that. And this, I've done a lot of these since they came out with them too. It's an excellent looking form, great muscle detail everything it just really nice pose been very happy with that one too and i don't have any 6900s in here right now but as far as popularity the 6900 i probably do as many of as any other form that i've got uh this one right here mckenzie 6900 semi sneak and it's an offset shoulder great detail uh, it's just a big a big looking form. Now, if your customers are wanting an upright offset shoulder, I would recommend this one right here. It's an 8,400 offset. And that right there, as far as a semi-upright, is probably the most popular mount that I do in a semi-upright category with an offset shoulder. You're gonna be able to see it's gonna sit on the wall just like that, and it displays. It displays great too. All right, now if a customer's wanting a head up or a head down form, the 64D offset is a semi-sneak head down. And I do a lot of those for a head down mount. That's my go-to. Head up, that's the same form basically, but that's a 64U. U stands for up, D stands for down. Those two right there are very popular if they want an altered head pose that way. Y'all can see there are tons to choose from. And this is an old poster. They've got a lot more than this in their book. Okay, so just for a recap, anything that Ben Mears makes that you order from Mississippi, let's try to go with that first. Full sneak, 4,900 wall pedestal, 4,600 straight shoulder head up. Upright straight shoulder is a 9,600. Upright wall pedestals, either the 9,800, which has got a little bit more of a sweep, or the 4,900, which has got more of a straight up neck. Semi sneak offset shoulder is a 6,900, or if the customer's needing one for a smaller deer, a 6,300. Semi upright offset shoulder being 8,400. If you need a form with the head up or head down, look up a 64U or a 64D. Well guys, I hope this was helpful. If y'all have got any recommendations of some other forms to use, other than the ones that I've talked about in here that y'all might like or that your customers, if y'all are taxidermists, have requested in the past, y'all please comment down below on this video and uh, give us some names of some of those. That way everybody can see it and give everybody a chance to look up some of that and see if they, they can find themselves a personal preference. Uh, also, if y'all wanna send me pictures of these, you can do that on the Cedar Ridge Chronicles Facebook page or Cedar Ridge Whitetails Taxidermy Facebook page. Uh, just, just pictures only if y'all don't mind on those Facebook pages. I would really prefer to keep all the comments on the YouTube videos. That way the viewers can see all of those comments and maybe the answers to some of the questions. And it keeps me from having to answer the same question over and over and over again. But anyway, really appreciate y'all watching. Hope to see y'all in the next video. Y'all be sure to hit subscribe if you hadn't already. We'll see y'all next time.